Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat, and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Good morning or good day, depending on what time you're listening to the Leadership Library podcast. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. You know, we've talked about that significant lesson. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about the concept of the obvious is not always the obvious. So I talked to you a little bit about Debbie and how she impacted me with her, with her, everyone gets what they need when, when you need it. Let me talk to you about the lesson that was not always the obvious to me. So I started working at UPS, and before I started that job, I sat with my dad who said to me, hey, I heard you got a new job. I said, yeah, dad. He said, uh, tell me a little bit about it, which I did. And then he told me two things that stuck with me for the rest of my career. And he said to me, look, whatever they ask you to do, say yes and thank you, and then learn your job and learn some more. And I thought about that. And I thought, okay, well, what exactly does that mean? Just say yes and thank you. Well, he said to me, you'll understand as people ask you to do things, don't question why, just understand what it is they need you to do and try to be the best at it. And so as I was moving my way through UPS and I got tapped on the shoulder and said, hey, we have new responsibility for you. We think you could do good at this new assignment. I'm thinking, I don't know if I'm ready. I don't think that maybe I'm the right person for the job. I'm not really sure I can do this. But all I heard was my dad saying, hey, whatever they ask you to do, say yes and thank you, and then learn your job and learn some more. And so I took those new assignments. And what I learned from that wasn't, wasn't the obvious, because what I really learned was that, you know what, UPS believed in me until I was ready to believe in myself. And that's part of our responsibility as leaders. There's many times when we're going to have to believe in our people until they're ready to believe in yourself. My son's a baseball coach today. There are many, many players in his care that he believes in them well ahead of they're ready to believe in themselves. And so he carries them through those early days. Could be their first Division I game. Could be their first time, you know, playing college sports at that level. And so he's believing in them the way UPS believed in me. And frankly, the way my dad believed in me as well. And they carry you. So you, your belief in your people in your care, the people that you're managing as they start a new assignment carries them through this nervousness or through I may not be ready or till they're ready to have the skill or confidence to do it. And then what happens is they kind of have that break even where they're feeling good about themselves. You feel good about them. And then you take that step back. You don't become the master of the obvious. You let them fly. That's when you give them the authority that goes with their responsibility. And so that was never obvious to me. I just thought my dad wanted me to work hard and not lose the job. I thought that's what those two things meant. Hey, don't mess this up. And don't come home and tell me you got fired. No, what it really meant was whatever they ask you to do, say yes and thank you. Be grateful you have a job and take care of your family. And then learn your job and learn some more. And as you learn your job and learn some more, that's when you get the confidence to carry yourself. And as a leader, what I learned was there are times that I have to believe in my, my people until they're ready to believe in themselves the way my son does as a baseball coach or my son does uh, uh, working his company or my daughter as a teacher or my other daughter as a producer. You believe in your people until they're ready to believe in yourself. It wasn't obvious to me when my dad first told me, but now it became completely obvious to me as I lived it myself. Until we meet again, be safe and thank you for listening to the Leadership Library. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Leadership Library, a bi-weekly podcast designed to help you find your leadership aha moment. To access Rocky Romanella for consulting, keynote speaking, or training your business, head to tightenthelugnuts.com. You can also head to tightenthelugnuts.com and click the link for Leadership Library to see this episode or every episode recorded by Rocky Romanella in the Leadership Library. 